of an identity? Uh, I think our identity is established. Uh, that's what we talked about coming into the season is leading the way with defense and being a defensive team, and I think that's showing uh, Well, we're 20 games in, and so I think that's a good sample size. Um, and we've had some great showings of, of you know, our defensive abilities, uh, how deep we can go, uh, you know, the schemes we can throw at people and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, it, it's showing statistically and it's showing in, you know, the win columns as well. Going up against two of the other top defenses in the league, do you enjoy these, like, kind of grinded out games? Yeah, they're dog fights. They're fun. I mean, towards the end of the second quarter, I don't know who I, I think it was Loon. I leaned over. I said, man, this is a low scoring game. But it's fun, though, because they're dog fights. Every possession matters. You really got to value every possession. So uh, those type of games are fun. And then also, you know, winning on uh, opposing team's home court. You can't beat that, man. And they're a good team. So they, they have a, a, really, a lot of good players. And so uh, just pull it out on the road against one of the better teams and then, you know, get ready for Phoenix. Uh, I think it's a great, great little uh, road trip. Who I remember I got a tech in that game. Uh, we were down, we came back and ended up winning that game. Well, that over, I think it was the overtime that game. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. They're a good team, man. I mean, they fresh off the finals run, right? They got their returning core. Uh, you know, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, uh, DeAndre Aiden, plus many other guys, Jay Crowder, who can really compete. So I'm looking forward to man. I, I love to compete. I love to play against teams with a lot of dogs. Uh, they're a great defensive team as well. So uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. What is challenging about the fact that they play? Um, I mean, they're a complete team. You know, they got a lot of shooters out there. They got guys who can ISO. They got some really good passers. They got uh, guys who can put pressure on the rim. Um, they're long and athletic. So, I mean, they have a really complete team, similar to ours, you know. Uh, they don't have too many holes and, you know, with their in their capabilities. So when you play against a team that can throw, also throw many schemes that you also can, you know, change their approach, you know, whether it's pick and roll, whether it's getting isos, where, you know, lob, threats, or whatever, you know, you gotta be prepared for all that, be ready to change and adjust during the game. So uh, they're a good team for a reason, right? And so I'm looking forward to it. You mentioned Loon there early. What kind of season do you think he's had, and um, especially playing undersized so often? Uh, I actually told Loon the other day, man, I don't think he gets the credit. I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. I mean, he's been around here for a long time, and you don't really see that too often in the NBA. So obviously he's here for a reason, right? Um, but, you know, media, and, and that's not you guys' fault, or it's not anybody's fault. I'm not faulting anybody or, you know, whatever. But he is a true anchor to this team defensively. I mean, he's not getting all the stats. He's not getting steals and, you know, blocks and all that stuff. But... He's definitely holding us down, and we all know we can count on him, you know, defensively. And so, and he knows this system inside and out. He knows his role. He knows guys' tendencies and stuff. So, uh, it's a lot of fun to play with him and also learn from him. I mean, he's younger than me, but he's a young vet. He's been in this league for seven years. So, uh, I mean, I tip my hat to that man. You know, he's a true professional who comes and does, does his job every day. And I feel like that's what this league is about, coming to do your job every day. So, you know, kudos to him. You're right, to, you're right to say he's underrated and doesn't get sure. that credit. Why do you think that is from the fans, from the media who are watching this? They miss some of the stuff that he does. I just don't think it's, that, it's as sexy as people want it to be. You know, uh, at the end of the day, like, this game is entertainment, you know, for people who come to watch it. But at the end of the day, this is our job, and he does his job every day. So I just don't think it's as pretty and sexy as people want it to be. But, I mean, he's consistent, he's reliable. And what more could you ask for, you know, in the guy on your team? You want somebody you can count on every day. And so, uh, and he's somebody you can count on every day. You were right there in the middle last night when Steph was going off on the refs. What was, what was your perspective from that? I mean, I wish I could just let him do his thing, but I didn't. We had four techs already, and that was a really close game. Um, so, you know, let him get his emotions off, but I'll grab him and get in the middle of that. That's our leader. That's our best player. So. Uh, I'll get thrown out before I let him get thrown out. That's it. You like seeing him get fired up like that? Of course, man. I mean, maybe I'm biased because I'm playing with the guy, but I mean, it's a top five player to ever play the, 
to play basketball. And I don't think people really realize that yet, but I know this game. I've been around this game for a long time. I've played a lot of basketball. And he's just a different dude. And I don't think people are appreciating what he's doing right now, but it's a treat to play with that guy, man. And I'm having a, uh, the time of my life doing it. We saw this in, in Brooklyn and again in L.A. last night um, where it almost feels like a home game for you guys. Have you ever been around a team that it kind of rolls into a place and it takes it over the way you guys do? Never, but that's the Steph Curry effect, though, you know? I mean, he's the best doing it right now, so that's what you're going to expect. Fans all over the world in every arena. I mean, he's worth the price of admission wherever we're going. So, uh, I mean, at this point, I'm kind of expecting that stuff. I was surprised in Brooklyn just because, you know, KD's there. And it's New York, you know, New York got some hardcore fans. Um, and I really didn't expect it in L.A. either just because the Bay-L.A. rivalry. But, I mean, when you play, when you got number 30 on your team, man, that's kind of expected at this point. Draymond talked about just getting mobbed on the road again, how I just kind of lost over the last couple of years. That's probably new for you, though, right? Um, like mobbed by fans on the road. Are you getting recognized? I mean, they not mobbing me, bro, so I'm still <laughs> living my life pretty comfortably. But uh, whenever I am around Steph, actually we were in Cleveland one time, and we both light-skinned, so they thought I was Steph, and I took off my mask, and they just were all disappointed, which I laughed at. But, no, nah, it's cool to see, man. I mean, it, it probably get a little overwhelming for him, you know, but I just watch from afar. I enjoy to see it. I think it's just experience, having a feel for the game and then trusting it. You know, uh, the game is going to tell you what to do. Um, you just have to create good habits, you know, and being ready in the, in the moment because when the game's happening so fast, you don't really have time to think. And so, I mean, yeah, I, I practice that stuff, but it's not like I'm in the gym like saying like, oh, I know I'm gonna get this pass, so let me practice this. I just practice passing on my left and my right hand, touch passes. It's just all about feel, man. I think that comes with experience, uh, you know, gameplay. Like you said, feel for your team. Yeah, for sure. You know, knowing where to put it for them, certain guys, with Steph, you gotta know where, I mean, you put it to where he can get it, where he can get his shot off. I mean, he can make so many types of shots that really all you just got to do is put it in space for him and let him get his shot off. And that's a good shot. Any any open shot for Steph with space is a good shot. So, uh, you know, just knowing where they're going to be and having a feel for the game. Thanks, Juan. Appreciate it.